Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the pen tool, which is down here. If you can't see it, right click there. You might have the node tool visible. Right click, you can get to the pen tool. You've got four different ways of using it here. So I'm going to start off with the line tool. And this very simply, you can click at the beginning and click at the end. And there is a line. Or you can click hold and drag out the line and move it around until you get to the line end like that. The drop down here from the width here you can have the style of zero which blanks it right out. You can have a hard line, you can also have a dotted line. And if we increase the width of this you can see there you go, it's a bit clearer how the dotted line is working on this. And it's driven by this at the bottom. So the one, two, three, two means, first of all, a black bit one, in a sort of bink wide, then a gap of two, then three here, so it's a wider one, then a gap of two, and then it goes round and round and this gets again. So you can have a dot dash effect. The phase here, if I change that, you can see it just slides the line along. So there we go, let's go back to this here, and we'll increase the width a bit, just to show what's happening. So you can see there in the end of the lines, you've got either end of that. Uh, the beginning of the line, by the way, is a little blue square in the end. It's a red. So there's always a beginning and an end. And if I change the cap at the end on the left there, that one is a round one. Then I've got one which goes right to the very end, which is great if you want to sort of butt the line up against another shape. And one where it's in the middle. So... The other things here I'll look at further in another video because that's more about doing multiple lines and the order and angle. These are more shape type things, but let's just have a look at this one here. So here, if I go down here, the changes, you can see it's deliberately rather large on here. There's all sorts of ends you can put onto it, all types of arrows. You can even roll this down here. So the ends of lines can be made into every shape you like. In fact, any old angle. Um, and again, with this thing here, so that places the arrow there. Notice here, this is the line. It goes right to the end. If I click on this one here, see the end of the drawn line, the arrow sticks out beyond that. So you've got full control. You can do this at the beginning of the line, and you can also do it at the end of the line. So there we go. And this one here, pressure. You, if I, you can see what happens if I pull this one down here. It basically turns into a triangle. And similarly at the other end. So what else can we do here? Let's go to the polygon mode. This is one where I can click and click and click and click. Let's make that line a little bit smaller. There we go. A bit more sensible. And so you can draw things like this. In fact, you can draw any shape you like with this, but it's a series of straight lines. That's the key thing. We're going to do curves in another video. When you get to the end, by the way, double click, and then you can start again. So there we go. There's the lines here. Let's have a quick practice of some, doing something with it that's useful. So I'm going to go to here to the pen tool. I'm going to go to the size here and make it just enough to be seen so in fact no no let's let's start from them from from completely scratch we can draw a line here with zero width and we'll see why in a moment because i'm going to click here click up here click down here click down here and double click when i get to the end there and i've effectively got a kind of shape here and if up here, look at this, I can turn it immediately into a mask or a selection. So I'll click on selection, and now this is selecting this area of the window. I can go to my selection brush and say go to subtract, and just take out the lady's head at the top there. And now I could add, say, an adjustment. Let's go to curves, and I can just pull this down a bit, or whatever I want to do with that. Control D, I don't need those marching ants anymore because it's built into that mask. So there you go, that is the way that you can use it. The lines go to the pen tool. You can draw straight lines with this 
on here and the polygon you can do shapes but with lots of straight lines. Okay, that's enough for now and thank you very much for watching.